Hello viewers, it's Super GT once again. Welcome to Monza for round number 13 or 14 of the Porsche Super Cup in ORL. So we have arrived here at Monza, not my favourite track, and I have just about made it into Lobby A. As you can see, I'm 16th out of 16. Now we actually had a special appearance in this lobby, and that appearance was made by John Cena. So I'll let him and his theme tune take it away for you. Are you sure about that? So there you go, John Cena totally wrecking the entire lobby in the rolling up laps. And then eventually we did go underway at uh, 3.15 on the timer. I didn't know, as you can see I had a very poor start stalling off the line. And then into turn one we go. So as I said, I'm at the back of the pack. I just about made the cut for lobby A. I just beat uh, TX3 per pie by literally, I think it was 0 0.0. 1 5 of a second if I hadn't have done that I would have been in lobby B but as we are here uh, with the best drivers in lobby A now we do have a problem in this lobby actually uh, the communication and well just overall connection issues were pretty pretty bad actually so Tiski on my right hand side here can't actually see me we make contact here with Senna um, maybe I kind of when I went across him a little bit there um, but I was very worried about uh, Tiski there on my right hand side because he cannot see where I am which is weird because I can see him but he can't see me so we have to bear that in mind so eventually um, we do catch up with him and go past GFR Matt there has he has a bit of a coming together with a tyre barrier on the exit of Ascari and Moshi seemed to be involved as well as he had very poor speed down this back straight into Parabolica so I'm up into 13th, so gaining 3 I can only gain in this race I guess. So through the final turn. Now one thing I did notice about my car is that the setup I chose kind of left me vulnerable on the straight. I, I went for a, a fairly high downforce setup, which did help around the corners of course, but then on the end of the straights I was kind of a sitting duck compared to my opponents and luckily just managing to resist the attack there of Moshi's but then as we progress into the second chicane behind Tiski tried to let me go but then he kind of turned in of course he doesn't know where I am then on the exit goes a little bit wide almost turns across into me um, and then I lose a bit of momentum but I let Moshi's through there so he goes through back into 12th and then I have to worry about uh, Tiski being behind me now because he still can't see where I am so then a bit of communication and we managed to not hit each other which was actually quite good so they're moving to lap number seven of ten uh, this is into Ascari we did manage to reel in Maverick Moshi's getting a bit of a margin over me though and then on the exit there of the chicane uh, Maverick getting a bit sideways losing a bit of momentum of that troublesome curb but then as I said I had the higher downforce setting so not being able to get a run into Parabolica but he does go for a defensive line in and unfortunately that put him a bit wide on the exit that gives me the run through the corner to take 12th but then we're going to see how we can uh, go about trying to defend that position up the main straight now he's right behind me here and then he gets well I get apparently a bit of a lag spike and then that totally wipes him out uh, so he got a bit of damage from that so my car apparently lagged back a little bit and then we've got two cars off here I think that slaps Vela and a knee of uh, the GTR team as well. So we gained two positions there. Now the timer says that he is in the lead knee, but um, he has his Australian connection once again, so he isn't actually there. He's actually right behind me. So I'm actually in 11th now, or 10th now, and then down to 11th now, but it's not registering because of the connection issue, but not too, uh, too much to worry. At the end of the race it will correct itself on the final timesheet. So then through the second Lesmo we get a run out towards the Ascari chicane but then at the end of the race just coming through to finish 11th. So quite an eventful race in a way but then a lot of it was quite lonely as well with not much happening. So finishing in 11th which I guess isn't too bad given that I did start dead last 
and then the result that you can see on the screen there will be reversed to form the grid for the second race. So I'm going to be starting in sixth place, uh, GFR Matt on pole. We're going to go on four minutes ten, and there we go, a bit of lag on the left-hand side there. Tix3 Senna getting a very poor start. Moshi's getting a very good start behind me. I, I was thinking about going to the inside, but sometimes the outside can be better. So opting for the outside line. Tiski moves across there into Slapvela's, uh, Slapvela's path, uh, kind of closing him off there. So I gain a position up into fourth. So up two already at this current moment. So this time Tiski can actually see me, luckily. So we don't have to worry about trying to communicate with each other as to our exact locations. Uh, so into the second chicane then. Slapsvela just behind, not quite thinking about going for a move. They're hitting the first apex nicely and the second one. The curbs are very troublesome around here. You really do have to hit the sweet spot really. and Unless you want to go spinning around. Um, Tiski there having a bit of a moment through the first part of the Lesmos. So I'm through into a podium position. And then on the second Lesmo, a little bit wide. Just about uh, dirtying the lap I, I would have thought. If you go beyond the red and green curb, that is a dirty lap on the curb there. So then running up into Ascari, let's see what we can do. That is Tiski and Slaps Vela side by side into the Ascari chicane. I do believe that Slaps Vela managed to get through into uh, fourth place. So then on the exit they're getting a poor exit actually. I was a bit far away from the, uh, from the apex. And then into the first turn of lap number two. You see the gap here, not too much. But then I go very, very deep into the turn, breaking a little bit late. And then on the exit... Uh, Slapsvela is going to get alongside and then I know that he's got the better speed so he's going to get ahead so, so just uh, settling for uh, going in behind there and then into the chicane he's going to follow him through and I know that Slaps is a very fast driver so hopefully he can uh, pull me along and then we can reel in second place there so through the Lesmos uh, waiting for that tarmac on the inside before accelerating out uh, towards the outside of the turn waiting the, uh, the break in the shadows there and then that is a good uh, space to start breaking and then thinking about turning in as well so through Ascari now this is the troublesome area because I get uh, I was getting a lot of oversteer because I was just grazing the inside of the curb so you can see they're losing well 200 feet maybe to Slaps Vela already so that is a very big margin to be losing um, to a driver like that that put me on the back foot against GFR Ted, he didn't quite have the momentum though to go for a move into Parabolica. So just holding him off for one corner at least. And then on the exit, getting a decent run. But then into the first corner once again, I was a sitting duck. A move, move across slightly to kind of put him off. But then he wasn't really alongside enough. So I just about managed to go around the outside around one. And then have the inside for the second part of that chicane. So just maintaining... The position and then into this uh, Ascari chicane once again just getting the exact same problem so at least I was consistent but in a bad way so you can see they're getting a bad run Ted is going to get a much better run so he's going to go past me on the outside into fourth I'm demoted to fifth with GTR knee behind me about 100 feet behind so into Parabolica let's see what we can do from here to the end we've got four GFR guys uh, first to fourth so they're having a very good round it must be said and it's always good to race against them because they are very fast. And I would say on on merit, probably a very even match for GTR. At least, well, not for me because I'm going backwards here very quickly. But the, for some of our faster drivers, yeah, definitely. So then into Ascari, lap number four of ten. Getting very close up ahead for a second. So that's GFR Matt up in the lead. I'm having to actually go over the curb there. I had a horrible mid-apex. I actually lost time through that whole corner of that whole complex and then at the end of the main straight the beginning of lap number five knee is right on my tail now so I'm closing up on braking actually I think once I do get my braking right it's good but once I get it wrong I completely mess up and lose quite a lot of time so my consistency on the brakes wasn't quite up to scratch and that is something I do need to sort out it's a very major aspect of a Monza lap because there are uh, very big braking zones so uh, you really do have to make sure you get them right because anytime you do get them wrong it's going to be a big uh, error of margin for you and you're going to lose a lot more time i go over the curb there go a little bit wide on the exit of the second chicane uh, so those curves really not treating you nicely if you uh, bottom out 
if you go directly over the top of them, you will bottom out and actually send you wide. Or maybe it just did for me because of my setup. Now into Parabolica, you just make contact with Knee, and it kind of sends him into quite a big spin. Now that was fairly annoying because we were right on the back of the pack there of GFR, and that kind of lost us a lot of time. So I had to kind of back off here. I was just trying to do the right thing. I did smash him off. I guess that is in part down to our connection difference and it kind of uh, showed up to be quite a big collision when it didn't really look like one. So into the first corner, that is Blaze just behind me there, not quite able to get past, almost losing two positions there. So Knee probably um, a little bit annoyed about that, but well, I'm, I'm annoyed about myself too, and making that mistake. I was making quite a lot of mistakes as I do here, going wide on the exit of the second chicane once again, losing the place to Blaze into Lesmo 1, and then uh, further around that lap, uh, Quattro joined in on the action and then lunged up the inside into Parabolica. Good move. So we're giving each other room. I've given him a, a nice car whip on the inside there. And then around the final corner onto the main straight. Let's see what we can do here. I've got the slipstream of Blaze, but I do have the poor setup on my car. And then at the end of the straight, you see there Quattro just getting ahead. So I'm going to try and lunge around the outside. But I decided I don't really want to uh, hold up my teammates too much. So just going to let Quattro go here, and he's going to take 7th place. So overall I'm down 2, after that initial start of gaining 2 places, it looks like I've only gone backwards from there. And then into Ascari once again, it seemed to be the most troublesome place on the lap. That is Maverick going wide, having a bit of an accident. I'm not sure who made contact with who exactly, but he lost quite a lot of time and positions. Moshi's going past into the first chicane, lap number 9 of 10, so only or less than 2 laps left to go now and then just trailing Moshi's for the next uh, lap or 2 then as we come out of the first chicane and then a bit further round there was contact up ahead, this is the final lap now uh, again I couldn't quite uh, see who uh, caused it but um, over the line then it was Quattro just ahead, I finished 8th so I guess not too bad of a result I just really did not have the pace overall or the consistency or the right setup. Ideally for next week I would uh, try to get that sorted for Circuit of the Americas. And then we have Satsavella there uh, winning the race. Very well done to him. GFR uh, 1, 2 and 3. So a very good race for them. So there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, this Monza round. There is only one more round left of the Porsche Super Cup. That is next week as Circuit of the Americas and uh, I'll bring that to you next Friday. There are some new series actually coming to the ORL Online Racing Championship. Those are the Ferrari Challenge on a Thursday and the V8 Supercars on a Friday. And I'm aiming at this initial stage to do both. I'm not 100% but I will try and do both. So hopefully we'll be uh, bringing plenty more videos on those series. They can be joined by anyone so if you want to join uh, do head to the forum which is in the description and then you can sign up from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Let me know your thoughts on the racing and hopefully if you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see more of the same and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching as always, goodbye.